one of the things that we're really fortunate about here at the University of Rochester is that we've been actively involved in the development process of these vaccines. I want to stress two things. It's not just efficacy. The FDA is extremely stringent in making sure that we also have enough data to really demonstrate that these vaccines are safe. This exploratory work actually started 15 years ago. And so that's why we could skip that step and just adapt what we knew to the current pandemic. The preclinical phase, we already had also a lot of data for the preclinical phase. And so that phase was significantly shortened and we were able to move into phase one, two, and three trials within just a few short months. When I think about these vaccines, I want to know that they're going to be safe, especially given how fast that they were developed. So we can say that there were no severe side effects, no serious side effects requiring medical care hospitalization in these trials that have been associated with vaccines. But there are some mild side effects, and it's important to understand that as these vaccines turn on your immune system, part of immunity is inflammation, and you may have some mild symptoms that last roughly 12 to 24 hours. They may start within eight hours after vaccine, they may persist overnight, and by the following morning, most people have reported that they've started to improve. So we need all these vaccines. They'll work differently in different people. There's lots to learn. Don't be hesitant if the, the vaccine offered is not necessarily the first ones that come out. Um, we expect them all to work and we are very confident in what we're seeing in terms of the safety of all these vaccines.